I have a circle and I have divided it into six segments. Three of the segments I'm painting with primary colors, blue, red, and yellow. And now I'm beginning to mix my secondary colors. So here I'm mixing an orange. As you can see, the red color, summer sun red, is very strong. It's actually quite overpowering. So it's completely overpowered the yellow and I'm going to have to add some more yellow to balance it out and create a nice orange color. So when you're mixing colors, it's, it's a bit of um, a trial and error sometimes. And it takes a bit of time to get the color that you want. That's why it's helpful to have pre-mixed convenience colors. But I'm showing you how you can do all your own color mixing from just three primary colors. So here I've got a nice yellow-orange. And as I move on this segment, the orange segment, towards the red segment, I'm just going to gradually add more and more red to it so that the ratio is more red and less orange. So you'll see how I can get different shades of orange. Now I'm preparing the next well to mix my shades of green. So I'm using the color Almost Night, which is actually phthalo blue. And the yellow color is called Fall Poplar Yellow, and it's actually a Hansa yellow color. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So next to the yellow segment, I'm going to have a more yellow green by mixing a higher ratio of yellow to a lower ratio of blue. And that I, when I move toward the blue segment, I'm going to gradually add a greater ratio of blue to get a more blue green. So this palette that I have is just a ceramic dish that I picked up at a thrift store. It seemed to me just the perfect uh, dish for a palette. I prefer ceramic palettes to plastic palettes because on plastic palettes the paint has a tendency to bead on the surface and you cannot see what the color looks like as well as you can with a ceramic palette. And now I'm, I'm just going over with another glaze, another layer of paint over where some of the paint has dried and become lighter. Watercolor paint always dries lighter. And now it's time to mix another secondary color, which will be purple. It's a mix of blue and red. So 
so I'm starting out with a more red violet or red purple here closest to the red segment of the color wheel and then as I move toward the blue I'm going to add a greater ratio of blue to red and notice how this um, color that I've mixed right next to the blue segment is actually not a purple it's actually just a very deep blue so that's really blue with a very small amount of red in it it makes it deeper and darker I hope you will do this along with me because it's really such a great learning experience to mix your own colors. And again, I'm just going over with a bit of glaze, which is another transparent layer of watercolor paint just to make that color more vibrant. Watercolor paint is a transparent medium, meaning that you will see the white of the paper showing through from below. So if you want your color to be deeper and darker, you'll add more layers of paint to it. Now it's time to make our second color wheel, which is based on three primary colors, cyan, magenta, and yellow. This, these are the primary colors that are used in printing. I was introduced to this system of color mixing by John Miralaws who is a wildlife and botanical illustrator. So again, I've painted my three primary colors in three of the segments, and now I'm mixing my secondary color, which is orange, a mixture of yellow and magenta. The colors in of bean paints that I'm using are called Fall Poplar Yellow and Cherry Magenta. And again, I've began next to the yellow segment with a higher ratio of yellow to magenta. And as I move toward the magenta segment of the color wheel, I'm adding a higher ratio of magenta and a lower ratio of yellow. Again, doing a bit of glazing, painting over the original layer, just to get it to a more vibrant, saturated color. As I move toward the magenta color segment, notice what happens. 
This is a color that is mostly magenta with a very small amount of yellow in it. This color is actually red. You can compare it to the color wheel on the right. So this was a real revelation to me when I learned it, that red is actually not a primary color. It can be mixed from magenta and yellow. Therefore, it's actually a secondary color. Okay, it's time to mix another secondary color. And this will be a green, a mixture of fall poplar yellow and Lake Huron teal. And Lake Huron teal is what I'm using in, as a substitute for cyan, which um, we don't really have in uh, the bean paint colors, but it's pretty close. Lake Huron Teal is actually Thalo Green. It's a little more green leaning than a true cyan. I really like the clear quality of the greens that I can mix with the teal color like here on teal. It's a beautiful clear jade aqua green. And again, I'm glazing just to get more of that color saturation. And then it's time to mix our third secondary color, which will be purple, a mixture of magenta and cyan, or in this case, cherry and Lake Huron teal. When color mixing, it's really a good idea to rinse off your brush frequently and wipe it off using a paper towel to get um, whatever paint you have off of your paintbrush so that you get a nice uh, clean mixture each time. All right, so this is a mixture of mostly magenta with a small amount of Lake Huron teal. And you can see we get a nice deep magenta color or a fuchsia color. And then as I add more teal to the mixture, here's a nice purple grape color. I like the purples that you can get with this color mixing system. It's more of a bright purple. It's a little bit less muddy than 
what you get by mixing red and blue together. And now I'm moving over towards the Lake Huron teal or cyan segment of the color wheel. So this is going to be mostly cyan or teal with just a very small amount of cherry magenta in the mix. And notice what happens here. Would you still call this color purple? To me, it looks like a blue. And here are the finished color wheels. Let's take a closer look and compare how the colors look to you. How are they different? Which one did you prefer? What have you learned by mixing your own colors from sets of primary colors? Have you ever made a color wheel before? And did you know about these two different systems of color mixing? Red, yellow, and blue. Cyan, yellow, and magenta. Please leave a comment below on this video. I'd love to hear about your experiences with color mixing. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for joining me today.